hello my bees it's georgina welcome back to my youtube channel i just got out of the shower today is well right now it's new year's eve and of course i'm gonna take you guys along the process of me getting ready i'm not gonna lie i feel like i'm like this like every new year's eve but like i'm a grandma okay i go to bed super early so new year's eve for me like i'm always struggling because usually at this time like i would like probably go to bed <laughs> but instead i'm getting ready but of course i'm gonna get ready with you guys you know that i always do this like every single year hold on i'm just plugging in my strainers <coughs> You guys know that I'm always doing get ready with me on Christmas, New Year's, like my birthday. It's just a little thing that we have going on. Okay, so what am I going to do for my hair and makeup today? I want to recreate this look, kind of something like this, like especially with the eyes. I want to do something like that again, which I recently posted on my TikTok. And for my hair, I'm going to do it sleek. But I just took my hair out of my bun and it's like kind of looking a little bit crazy. My hair is already straight. I know, call me crazy, but I am going to go over it one more time just to make everything look like sleek. Also, I need to moisturize my face because my skin is so dry right now. This is one of my favorite moisturizers, the Tatcha Cream. I'm just going to lather my skin in this. I was thinking like, oh, maybe I should do curls or waves or whatever but i just feel like the most confident like the most me when i just do straight also let's put this light on in the background cute i have this spray right here it's called dream coat i have my straightener right here i'm just gonna run this through my hair i have it at 150 degrees celsius which is really not that high and i'm just gonna run through let me stand up so i can sh show you guys better just grab a section with my brush like that from the back and then go over and this is the difference i definitely feel like this looks more sleek and just kind of put together and this is just i don't know i'm gonna do super glam tonight i'm actually gonna do my eyebrows if you know me then you know that i don't even like never touch my brows but i am going to do them tonight going in with this brow pencil by morphe and i'm just gonna draw a line right here i want them to look super sharp tonight like that and then i'm just gonna take um the back which is a spoolie and i'm just gonna soften that up a little bit i'm gonna take my little clear brow gel from kosas and i'm gonna brush my eyebrows up i'm gonna do my eyes first um i just went downstairs to grab some tape because i'm gonna use tape for my eyeshadow to get that like clean crisp line I'm gonna use some eyeshadow primer. This is Too Faced Shadow Insurance because I do not want the eyeshadow to crease. I want it to stay put all night. So I'm going in with this first, taking my finger to blend that in. This is the palette that I'm going to be using. This is the Morphe Changement palette. And I'm first gonna go in with a super big fluffy brush like a light brown color like this just to put down on my whole entire eyelid kind of as our base you guys know that i like to do this just go in with a nice clean base color now that we have a nice base color down i'm gonna go in with a darker color this one and i'm taking a smaller brush like this and I'm gonna pack up some of that color. We're gonna be doing a halo eye, which means I'm gonna be focusing the darker colors right here and right there, and I'm just gonna leave the middle blank. I have my darker color on here, and I'm just going to pack that on just like that. And then I'm also picking up that darker color and putting this into the inner corner of our eye. I'm blending that up a tiny bit, but we're not gonna put any in the middle. To soften that up, I'm just gonna go back with a fluffy blending brush and just make sure it looks nice and blended. I am going to pick up like a shimmery metallic shade and I think 
Do you guys hear the fireworks? Like this has been going on the whole entire day, obviously, because it's New Year's Eve, but still. <laughs> I'm gonna take this color right here, which is kind of like a green metallic. So I'm just gonna take that on my finger and apply that in the middle of my eye on the part that we left blank. I'm going to be taking the tape off just gonna give you that nice and crisp line next step is lashes and i know that i already said this in the last video but unfortunately i cannot show you guys the lashes yet um of course these lashes will be dropping with my brand Gigi beauty this january but you guys have to wait a little longer so for the second time i'm gonna let the lashes do all the talking this is before and after i'm gonna finish off my lower lash line later but i'm now going to move on to face makeup oh my god i almost did not use primer <gasps> i haven't used this in a while so i'm gonna use this today this is the elf power grip primer this is like a super sticky primer i think this is like a dupe for the is it the milk hydro grip i'm not sure but i can't even like move this around on my face like you have to freaking tap this stuff in i know it doesn't sound nice but it's literally like applying eyelash glue to your face like my hands are sticky now that's how sticky this stuff is okay now i'm going in with my flawless filter and stick that to the primer of course, I'm gonna go in with this really big brush from Say Beauty to blend that into my skin. Now I'm gonna do a tiny bit of this Morphe foundation. I don't like I don't really want to wear foundation, but I want that like little extra layer of coverage. So I'm just gonna go in with a tiny bit and mainly focus that on my t-zone area and make it look nice and smooth oh my god i think this foundation is too light for me right now like i don't know if you guys can see this but i feel like it's it's a flashback mary situation <laughs> i need to go in and fix this and bring some warmth back to my face i'm gonna go in with this contour from shein which is really like um warm toned and i'm just going to apply this everywhere on my face i told you guys we're doing heavy duty glam today this is not my usual cup of tea you know i'm usually more to the stick towards the natural side a little bit more but today we are going all out baby i'm really curious to know what your guys's new year's eve plans are so please let me know in the comments down below like i just love chatting with you guys um are you staying home are you going out what are you doing i am spending new year's eve with my family we're actually going like me and jolano we're going to like five different places tonight and just hang out with like different people from my family i'm going to apply some cream blush but i don't know if i want to use this today i think i'm gonna go with something else <laughs> here she is this is like my holy grail every single time i use this blush i get so many questions about it and you guys this oh my gosh this is the makeup revolution super dewy liquid blush in the color flushing for you just watch this when i blend it out like are you kidding me that is stunning I'm gonna take that all the way up here and then also blend it under my eye bags, kind of like that. Do the same thing over here, of course. To brighten some areas of my face, I'm just going in with a little bit of this Kosas concealer. I swear, this just brightens your face like no other. I'm also going to apply some right here to snatch my eyes even more. You guys know that I like to do that. The key with this concealer, I feel like, is blending it out with your finger. Like, I feel like when I use a brush or a sponge with this concealer, it just doesn't look as good as when you would use your finger. Just look how pretty that looks. I am about to set all of these cream products down with some translucent powder and my powder puff. I'm gonna go in with a shit ton of powder. I'm not gonna let it bake. I always like to grab a ton of powder, but then blend it in straight away and just really press 
it down into your skin like this. Setting powder is all melted away and now to tie the whole look together, I'm just going to go in with a tiny bit of this bronzer from Catrice. You guys always ask me which one this is. This is the Mineral Bronzer with SPF and the color Medium Dark. I went to the store the other day and I didn't see this bronzer, which makes me very sad because I do not want to run out of this bronzer, so I really hope that they're gonna bring this back because it's so freaking amazing y'all already know of course i gotta go in and la, 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 la. why can i not speak today i'm gonna line my waterline with the anastasia dark side eyeliner i'm gonna go in with some of that like darker actually i'm gonna mix this and this i think and smoke out my lower lash line with this i'm gonna take this lip liner i haven't used this in a long time so i don't know if it's gonna look good but this is punchline lip liner from peaches and cream okay no actually i do think this is gonna be a fire lip combo to tie the whole look together, I'm going to finish off my lips with the Gigi Beauty Gleam Beam Lip Oil in the shade Hover, which is this one. This is the most amazing, iconic nude lip oil that you will ever try. I will never stop raving about this. Like, if you are a nude lip lover and you like glossy lips but you don't want your lips to feel sticky, this lip oil from my brand, you're going to love this. look how freaking stunning that is like i cannot live without this i'm gonna take these clips out let me show you guys the outfit situation because honestly i really don't have a clue what i'm gonna wear tonight like i didn't get like anything new in particular like just for new year's eve because i was like i have so many clothes and my closet already like i'm sure i can pull an outfit together okay so the thing that i'm definitely wearing and this is kind of like what i'm basing my outfit of basing my outfit but you guys know what i'm trying to say this is the skirt so this i'm definitely wearing okay 100 wearing because i just think it's so cute i'm going for basic of course you guys know me i'm a basic girl i like basic outfits i want to wear it with a black top underneath so i have this um long sleeve crop top from zara then the second option is a short sleeve bodysuit from zara last option is black bodysuit with long sleeves i was like okay maybe like the short sleeves will be cute but let's be honest i'm trying to stay warm here like i'm gonna be outside a lot so i don't want to be freezing um which is why i've decided i'm gonna put a blazer on top so like, you know, this doesn't really make sense. If I wear a blazer, you're not gonna see the bodysuit anyway. So to keep myself warm, I thought, okay, then I'll just wear a long sleeve. So the short sleeve bodysuit is now out of the question. I have two blazer options. This is the first one. This is just a black basic blazer from Bershka. And then we have a oversized green blazer. I feel like this blazer is too oversized on me. Like I'm really short and like the shoulders are just giving like Hulk or something. You know what I mean? It's not like really flattering if that makes sense. I took you guys to the mirror with me so you can fully see my outfit. So I made the decision. I'm going for the bodysuit and then I just put the black glitter skirt on but it was kind of long so I tried to kind of roll it in like this but it kind of looks stupid. I don't know. Let me just put my blazer on. These are the shoes that i'm gonna wear these little loafers from h&m okay so this is the full fit with this bag i'm not sure if i'm gonna take this one with me actually need some time to decide but this is the full outfit with the loafers i really wanted to wear heels but i don't have any like um i only have open-toed heels 
and I don't think that looks good with tights, so I'm going for loafers. All right, you guys, I really hope you enjoyed watching my New Year's Eve get ready with me. I'm all ready to go celebrate 2023. I really hope all of you enjoyed watching this video and I want to wish all of you a happy new year and I will see you guys back on my channel in the new year. Actually, I think I'm uploading this in the new year. So if you're watching this, this is in the new year. <laughs> all right. I love you guys so, so much and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Mwah.